Does the microphone work? I don't really care if it works. But, uh, in case it works, I'm gonna do some commentary over this. Today we're gonna be building a McLaren ripoff. We're gonna make it fast. Okay, so let's start off with this. It's either carbon fiber or fiberglass. I'm, I'm gonna go with carbon fiber. It's gonna be extremely expensive, but pay what you pay. Carbon fiber again. Oh, here's a hard choice. Of course, mid launch to me. Push rod, push rod. The person who buys this uh, McLaren can obviously afford push rod. We're gonna try to fit a. Doesn't fit. What do you mean it doesn't fit? Ah, here. Okay, it's too big. And um, unfortunately, it's gonna be extremely small to fit. Does a boxer fit? Oh, it sure as hell does. It's gonna be a 4.3 liter boxer 6. Dual overhead cams, of course. Four valves to make it rev higher. Here. So, we'll go with aluminium silicon. And... Var variable valve lift. Since this is a McLaren we're talking about, we're going to go with highest quality production materials. Okay, so now we're going to the top end. I think we'll raise this and lower this because we're going to be putting a turbo in here. In here. The VVT all camps, of course. Uh, for those who don't know, VVT means variable valve timing. So here's some information, you can pause the video to read all of that. Let's continue. Aspiration. Now, aspiration. So, of course we're going to put a turbo. So how does a turbo work? Wait, frick, I'm going to... Uh, I need to finish the car. I'm going to explain how the turbo works. Like, for cylinder performance, ultimate, ultimate fuel expensive. As heck. Oh yeah, I forgot to bring it up a little bit. We will have a lot of that dual straight through baffled. Okay, so we're starting off with not a lot of horsepower. So okay, I want to explain how turbo works. So now it's finished. It's kind of a hard setup to explain now. So look. So this right here is our turbine. It is... So basically the turbo spins by using the exhaust gases over here. So the exhaust gases from oil, uh, a gas being burnt goes through this pipe which spins this thing. Then it sucks up that air, sucks out of that air. It gets cooled down in the intercooler, the, hence making it less dense, because everyone knows that cold is less dense, it's pressurized and gives us more power by adding more boom boom to the engine. And there's a golden rule of cars, more boom boom means more power. So this is a lot better already. So we can always go here and we can see that the intercooler needs... Yeah. So it's perfect. I think 760 horsepower is good. You can even get some more by making the turbo turbine bigger. Max boost. Okay, that's that's enough. That's enough. That's I guess house. Okay, this is enough. This is enough. And so turbos have a big problem, a very big disadvantage. First of all, they lower your RPM right here. I mean, the the power was up here. I I made it rev up to eight thousand RPMs. It doesn't. It does much in eight thousand RPM, but it's still not peak power. 
anyways that's okay so because this is a very good turbo it eliminate all the turbo lag right here turbo lag is basically when you get an extreme lag spike of course there's some turbo lag over here when it starts spooling up but it's not substantial and the car won't spin out with big so the red line over here is a torque line basically when turbo starts spinning it gives it more power and it doesn't start spinning from 800 rpm for example like superchargers do because it's driven by exhaust gases and there is a forget my phone and there is a big torque climb which makes the wheel spin out very very fast let's hear how it sounds boxers always 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 sound epic so okay uh, see this so now I'm gonna explain how the engine works on a beautiful model of that so um, right now it's not so this is the valve train the valves let the gas enter the uh, <laughs> okay the valves, this is, the lower one is the uh, exhaust. So, th these valves open up, letting air and fuel mixture go into the engine. Air and fuel make it explode. With it. And everyone knows that there is no fire without uh, air. So, it is necessary. That's why the turbo is there. That's why the turbo is there. It lets more air in. Now, uh, this, these are the uh, exhaust valves. They open up after the explosion has happened, and the piston pushes the gases out through the headers over here. Что? Я что-то снимаю, уходи. So uh, there's the exhaust gets pushed out over here into the exhaust pipe and out. This is the catalytic converter. I'll talk about it sometime later. This is the piston. I, this is the piston head. It is the thing that pushes the gas to make it boom boom. Conrods, they're basically the sticks that connect the piston to the crankshaft. Friction and close the door. which connects the piston to here and how do the valves spin? good question, I'm glad that you asked rocker cover head and block okay, so here you can see the belts the crankshaft which is over here is, where's the crankshaft? where's the crank? Here, the crankshaft you can see it's spinning in the middle it spins the valves right now we're using the dual overhead cam setup that's why we have two of these here so yeah that's how they spin okay let's start with the body yeah we're over the technical stuff now we're gonna design it I have some ideas for the color. We can make it either emerald green, one of my favorite colors, and we can change it up a little. Okay, uh, greener, greener, yeah, emerald green. Yeah, let's keep it this color. It looks epic. Looks cool. Okay, this is the short model. It's the 420s. Yeah. Now we have to put epic wheels on it. Let's do some wheel design. Green. 
It looks good actually. I like it. Yeah, make it green. With primary, we're gonna make it chromey. Just cause. Uh, don't mind the wheels being so high up. It's the game being dumb again. I like this game. It's very fun. But Claren. Okay. So let's start with the. Actually, let's start from the rear. I don't usually start from the rear. So I'm going to be basing it off the McLaren 720S, which is a beautiful car. So the engine, of course, is not from a McLaren. Well, yeah, because nothing fits in it. Wait. Stop! So let's carry on with this design. Kind of want to put these in here. Really looks good. Actually, nah. This might be uh, if we make it in the right color scheme, might actually look good. Unfortunately, no. And the charger. The charger headlights. I mean, not charger, not headlights. Maybe this. I don't like it. I don't like it. We shall put. Some. You know, I'm kind of rooting for these ones. Like, they kind of look like Lancer taillights. We're gonna put them in the reverse. I mean upside down and of course you know, let's put something different now that's what I like for now this is part two I had to go downstairs so okay now we're gonna be working on the diffuser I'll explain what's a diffuser in the next video unfortunately I don't don't have any mods installed right now so we might have to improvise a little for today but I'll try to do something it looks at least it looks at least more this seems on a different one I want spe special cutouts yeah for the exhaust pipes let's make it wider yeah just like that now let's change this to that and I, I I really don't know how can we build this okay let's go to the bumper bar section and tr attempt to, to 
I know this looks rather janky now, but just wait and see. Oh, I hope this works out. Let's see from the side. I mean, it's weird and it serves absolutely, absolutely no, s it, it, it does nothing, okay? A real diffuser does at least something. But, uh, I mean, it looks cool, right? Yeah, let's, let's bring this back. I, I don't like it without. Oh, yeah, and we'll get, get an extremely good look on the engine, which doesn't appear. Okay, we'll get a good look on the suspension. The beautiful state-of-the-art suspension. Made by McLaren. McLaren, the best car company on earth. Okay, bring it smaller make it smaller this looks at least half normal okay <laughs> we'll have what four tailpipes okay make this one bigger move it up good this is smaller i mean it's gonna be smaller mirror it Mirror, good. It looks at least mediocre. <sighs> I like the placement of the steering wheel. I mean, freaking not the steering wheel, the, the plate number. Here. Now let's keep it like this, and we should. Please attempt to write something. I'm going to be using this as my line to write the lettering. I'm going to make it big, but uh, frick, it's not working like it's supposed to. I don't. I don't want to write any lettering. This is gonna be some clean, sleek rear end. Oh, spoiler! I mean, I, I wing. It's bad. It's bad. Let's put something different, like this. Oh, this is gonna be epic. This is gonna be epic. This makes it thicker. This makes it wider. Okay, good. And because it's middle engine, so around over here, I think we'll put some air vents. Yeah, because vents are epic. Make them long, nice and long. I like them, they're too square. We'll put something something different in here this this that's what i've been looking for if you flip them like that perfect good i actually like that now this looks fairly normal um it's gonna chug a lot of that fuel. Let's look at the fuel consumption. Oh, it's, it's not terrible actually. It's pretty good for what we're making. I mean, that's pretty good by my standards at least. Okay, flip it like that. Make it bigger, because bigger means that, doesn't it? Um, spoiler. Probably gonna put something over here to just make it look better. We might want to put some vents over here just to make it look even better. Probably some fake vents, but still vents nevertheless. Looks fairly normal to me. Okay, let's continue. No sunroof. Because. 
Why would you need a sunroof in a 700 horsepower car? Oh yeah, I forgot. To make it more expensive, we'll put some more quality on this so it will be more realistic. I forget I had a lot of horsepower. Frick, that added a lot of horsepower, not gonna even gonna lie. Five grand to build an engine. Okay. No, silver isn't gonna work out. It's gonna be yeah, car painted. Car, car body painted, yeah. Frick. It's not working. I hear. No, I already see the headlights over here. No, oh, these look kind of cool. Not gonna lie. Wow, this is epic, actually. This is kind of epic. Okay. Some scoops, maybe? How about this? Oh, no, no. If we're making a scoop, it needs to look epic. And this is... Actually, let's make it just flat. Seems okay to me. Let's put this. No, oh, kind of looks like a Lexus. Not even gonna lie. Too fancy. Oh, what's this? Hmm. Nah, it needs to be bigger. I mean, it's for bigger cars. So how about this? doesn't look bad kind of fishy though I don't know why okay let's put how many times is this not gonna lie in this so I gotta find something really good to fit onto here this seems fitting oh frick no frick upside down So we're gonna put a pair of turn signals here. I hope it doesn't look this bad when we do it. Come on, uh, looks decent. Looks okay. I like it. Now drivetrain. Now this is the best part. I mean. And building the engine is the best part, but this, if you mess it up, the car is going to be extremely slow. So what I've been planning to do is put a longitudinal all-wheel drive system with a 7-gear dual-clutch transmission. 372 doesn't seem realistic, I have to say. 330 electric put it down because we're gonna put it down because it creates some semi slick rear tires are narrow yeah they're kind of narrow what I've been thinking is let's actually they're thick enough Carbon fiber. Doesn't look like car alloys. Magnesium. Okay, carbon ceramic to keep the weight down. Vented disc three piston. Actually it goes to carbon ceramic, yeah. I'm gonna make the brakes a little bit bigger. And the brake caliper. The brake caliper is gonna be green. To look nice. We're gonna go four quarters of the way. Keep it the same. Aerodynamics. 
downforce. It's gonna need a lot of that downforce, but we don't need to bottom out. If we have too much downforce, we're gonna bottom out and it's gonna... It's not gonna be fancy. 71, this... I've heard that it doesn't actually change anything in BeamNG Drive, the game that we're gonna be testing it. But... It's great to drag. Okay, I don't care. No cooling. Yeah, frick. Sport pre premium infotainment. Actually, yeah, let's. I'm not sure how much it actually does something, but I'm gonna go with as low as it can. 41. Okay, premium infotainment and uh, sport interior. This game doesn't actually have any interiors, so if you go in the car, there's the frame. We're still gonna get it premium. Electric variable, launch control, uh, advanced settings. I forgot about quality sec settings. Okay. Bring it up like that. Plus 5. Plus 3. Plus 4. 5. 4. 5. 5. Ah, no, the f okay, and the uh, five. So power distribution, it's it's fifty fifty, but the game is complaining that it's ineffective. Never listen to that. It's it's total BS. Let's put it on a sport preset. Front brake force is very high. It's okay. Short gearing, wheel spin, it's it's fine. It's too high up in the air though. Let's, see. Let's try something different. What is it? Downforce oh, oh. the downforce is too high. Uh aerodynamics. Bring it down. It's kind of creating uplift which is not ideal we want this line to be but okay 161 it's fine i guess The dampers are hard. It's okay. Now, oh wait, I forgot. 3.5 seconds. That's fast. That's hella fast. Okay, let's go on a test track. I'm not actually driving this. I just want to see how well it does on the test track. Sounds fast. So back to first gear. This footage is gonna be long because I don't have any editing software right now. Okay, now this is the fun part. We're gonna see how fast you go. Slow. Actually, not bad. Not not bad. Go to the summary, export this car. I'm gonna wire up my steering wheel, don't mind the noises. And I'm gonna see you in Beam. Um, so right now we're in Beam and G Drive, and we're gonna see how this beast drives. So, first impressions cars look different in Beam and G Drive than they look in automation. Uh, I've noticed that the right height is stupid. Oh frick, no! Oh no! Oh no! So, you see this? 
You see this? This is bad. This is very bad. It sometimes does that when you put a rear engine boxer in it. But, well, we'll see how it does. Oh, frick, it's so fast. Let's, let's keep it on. I don't want to die today. Frick, it's so fast. It falls in, even when you put only like little throttle to it. This is so painful to do. This car costs like 200 grand. Or even 500 grand. Frick, I need stop that. Ah, we didn't hear the engine. This is controllable. This is controllable. This is really, really, really controllable. It, it, it's so good. This is this car is one of the best I've done in a while, in a, a long while. So let's. Are these fake exhausts? Oh frick! I just realized that. Okay, let's turn this off and drive it to the high speed ring. So first impressions, it's it it turns it turns very well. The rear design kind of looks choppy or janky or however you would call it. it. It it's certainly not one of the best designs I've done in a while. Now let's turn left. Look at that tiny turn signal. Okay, not gonna lie, the tail lights are kind of epic. It wasn't a bad idea doing it like that. I put a dual clutch because it shifts fast, and shifting fast is very good. Okay, come on, three, two, one. Oh, frick, this is fast, this is fast, this is fast. Oh, 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 the, the worst thing that we can do is panic. <laughs> and the worst thing happened. Oh. So, it's fast. Well, oh, let's see how it does the death loop. Come on, floor it, floor it, floor it. Oh, frick, this stupid. And what I've noticed is we did gearing. I mean, it's, it's not too good, but it keeps me freaking spin now. Well, it keeps doing that. It's too fast. Okay, let's see how far it can fly on the uh, ramp. Yeah. Oh, frick! We missed it. Okay, let's go on the small ramp then. Woohoo! We broke the engine. Okay. So my first impressions, it's good. But here's the real question. Can it drive in the city? Mm -hmm. So right now we are in the sunshine state of California. We're gonna drive through the Chinatown to see if it's realistic daily drive the McLaren 420S I want to do a few simple tests such as simple city driving city cruising how are you so 
right off the bat you can see the mileage in the top it's um not that good I like most of my cars we need. not not mileage gas mileage fuel mileage call it whatever you want it's fast it's fast if you want to eat some burgers in time you can you can do that if you're if you're going to work oh frick it spins out so much so freaking much okay let's let's spawn some ai traffic let's spawn the cops yeah let's spawn the cops and i'm gonna spawn like 10 of them or something we're gonna see oh frick Oh, it's spawned inside. Okay. Well, what is this grandma? I think this would be in service, really. Ah, great. So lively. Sorry for the light, but I mean, this is fun. Okay, I'm flooring it. Oh! This is fast. This is hella fast. Watch where you're driving. Oh, that was a cop. Unfortunately, the traffic doesn't stop for red lights. Oh, that was an undercover cop. Oh, frick, I crashed. I crashed. I spun out. And he didn't even say a thing. Okay. Hey, cop. Cop. Hey, cop. Oh, oh, I crashed into you. Wait, is that a freaking drag car? Oh, frick, we got some competition. Cops are broken, wait. Okay. Oh now they're working, now they're working. Oh turn signal by accident. Okay. Come on, floor it, floor it. Let's go on the highway. Actually, if you're doing an actual getaway, I won't recommend going on the highway. So running away from cops is part of the daily drive testing. Oh frick, a roadblock. Uh -huh. He just left me so. Fricker. Oh, you, you, you fricker. Come on! <laughs> I'm driving with the steering wheel, that's why I make so much noise. Oh, whoa! <laughs> that was a head on collision! I don't think we, we, we both made it out here a lot. Oh, you can drive away though. Frick, yeah, I can. So yeah, let's stop traffic. Traffic, remove traffic. It's gonna bring us the good old FPS. Now we're gonna try to do some parallel parking. So let's spawn to average sized automobiles. That's a manual. Oh, good. I, I I like manuals, but for this experiment, I'd rather not. So let's put one car over here. Kill the engine. Clone current. And we're gonna park. And these cars are gonna be parked like an everyday driver to park it. He wouldn't spend too much time, he would look if there's if there are no cars. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good enough. Now our goal is to fit in there without doing major damage. Now this is gonna be kinda hard. This car is so fast. Even when you're not pushing. Oh, I already scratched it. It's gonna cost me like two grand to fix. Okay. okay. Slow feather. Feather. I said feather. Okay. We're gonna do the easy way. 
Should start rolling back. Oh! I forgot it was in reverse. Okay. Okay. Okay, this is stressful. This is stressful. <laughs> Great. I just remembered how fast it was. Okay, let's push this guy a little. Come on, push him. Push him, push him, push him, push him, push him. Try. Good. Try. Push it. Come on, it's a tissue each other. Uh, uh, this is hard. And now, my favorite part. Oh, frick, we ruined that guy's car. So we parked, and it's good enough for me. Yeah, now we're gonna see how much crashing could this car survive. Put you to the middle of the road. Oh, so I'm stepping over it. I did that by accident. Didn't mean to. Uh, this car is slow. But let's say. Mm, I accidentally bashed into his. Oh, I broke the axle! <laughs> okay, fine. So let's imagine your car is just standing there on the road, and then someone crashes it. In. Oh, I didn't mean to. Can my chip please go to school? And then she reverses and goes again. can survive enough of these. Now what if... So it passed the parallel parking test. Now let's see it's... Highway test. The highway test is extremely simple. We're gonna go on the highway and see if it can overtake cars. I mean, I'm not spawning cars again, it's gonna take ages. But. Oh, ah, yeah, I forgot one of the tests the city test. So you've been just driving around and you see a good parking spot. Okay, you turn your wheel like that. And then you hit reverse. And this car is expensive, but it was designed to be light. So it doesn't have any reverse encounters. Just looking back. Oh, the the turn signal fell off. Fell off. Okay. So you're reversing. We're going to drive. No, stop rolling back. And so you... And you don't have anyone to check how much space there is. So you start reversing... Reversing... And then you hit your bumper. Ah! But then you're like, Oh frick, let's, let me reverse. Okay, that wasn't bad, that wasn't bad. Okay, let's push it. Let's say you're, you're trying to park it. That was painful, but... It's fine. Right. So... 
driving this car is extremely agile, as you can see right there. You can do whatever you give, but the ESC, ESC, that that's what kills it. The traction control. Oh, that was that would be painful to do. In a car crash. Never do this ever, kids. Oh, frick again. Oh no, that's not what we want. It's the freaking king of the world. Let's turn the ESC on, I think, more complicated. The ESC kills it, but it helps you not die. Now let's hit the max speed. Come on. 320. And let's start braking. So the brakes are doing extremely well. Absolutely no brake fade. I'm pleasantly surprised. So this is it for the 2015 McLaren 420S. I think this car turned out to be one of the best that, that it made in the past few weeks. So yeah, you can tell me what you think about this amazing automobile. So that's it for today, cheers.